ever get the feeling each new phone is missing something you'd want? Say a great camera, long battery life, or a headphone jack? Samsung's been the only phone maker to offer an everything but the kitchen sink phone, but now there's the LG V30 as well. Okay, it's big and expensive at $830 for the unlocked version that works on every carrier. Trust me, you'll want that. But for the money, the V30 includes practically every feature I crave. Vibrant OLED screen? Check. Gorgeous glass and metal build? Yep. Waterproofing and wireless charging? Totally. Fingerprint sensor? Yes. And it's beautifully placed, unlike Samsung's camera smudge magnet. And if you're a headphone jack junkie, check this out. The V30 has the jack and a built-in digital to analog converter that makes my music sound awesome. Admittedly, you'll need some decent headphones to really notice. So here's the part where I'd usually reveal the deal-breaking flaw, say a crappy camera or poor battery life, but no. My V30 always lasts well past bedtime, and our tests show the battery neck and neck with Samsung's similarly sized phones. And while the dual cameras on the V30 don't have a fancy portrait mode, they take better photos than Samsung during the daytime, even if LG's slow autofocus made me miss some shots in low light. Particularly love LG's wide-angle camera, which you won't find on competing phones. Honestly, I do think the V30's design needs some work. It's wide, kind of slippery, and the rough edges on the USB port make my usual pinky hold hurt. And I wouldn't buy this phone to shoot casual video either. Samsung, Apple, and Google Pixel phones all have better video stabilization and shoot crisper footage in full auto mode. But if you're a pro, it's worth noting the V30 can natively shoot log format video, which offers more dynamic range that you can tweak in post. Speaking of which, I'm curious to find out, did you notice we shot this entire review with the LG V30 itself?